Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to try to make, um, from the Deathwing box, I'm going to try to make these, uh, the Deathwing Knights, um, using leftover bits after I've made up my regular Deathwing command squad. So I've used all the bodies from that, so I'm going to use the leftover Storm Shields and, um, what do we got, the Maces, and I'm going to combine that with some other bits, um, and mainly use these uh, bodies from Assault on Black Reach. So these are much cheaper Terminators and the idea that I'm going to try to do here and show you how to do is take these uh, cloaked torsos and combine them with these bodies and use the arms and make some nice uh, Deathwing Knights and uh, basically get more value out of your, your dollar for this uh, really expensive Terminator box. So. I'm going to cut out all the pieces and I'll show you everything I'm going to need and then I'll show you how to put them all together in a second. Alright, I'm just going to mention that I'm going to use one of these ancient Terminators. So these guys are from, I think it's second edition Space Hulk. And uh, they're snap fit. They are really, really crummy. Um, scale is a little bit off and actually if you look at it closely, it's mostly just the scale um, right at the, the hip there. So the... Uh, the legs are actually the same size, the torso is about the same size, but it's, if you add a little gap there, it makes it work. So what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, use one of these because I don't have the sergeant on the sprue from this uh, set from Assault on Black Reach. And it, what I'll do is I'll show you just how you can use different terminators to make this all work. Alright, so I have all my bits laid out here. So um, I guess some of them are off screen. So I have four half arms left over from this and what I'm going to do to make sure that my command squad has everything is I'm going to be using um, some bits from the Deathwing sprue. So if you if you have any of the uh, Ravenwing uh, boxes you'll, you'll know that there's a couple extra arms on here. There's a Stormbolter arm and um, things like that. So if you have any other Terminators you're going to need those just to make sure you have enough arms to go around. As well I'm going to be making sure that I have uh, all my shoulder pads, so I'm going to need a couple more Terminator shoulder pads. So I, what it is, I salvaged one of the nice ones from the, the Deathwing set, um, and I'm going to be using just a plain one. So when I put those aside for my other guys that I haven't fully assembled yet, um, I've got enough for them, and I'm going to use the rest from um, leftover bits, um, either from the Assault on Black Reach uh, shoulders or from other Terminator... Uh, bits that I have laying around. And um, so the the extra storm shields are all here uh, and they have an arm attached to them so there's no need to worry about that, just need shoulder pads. I've got the fronts of the torsos with all these uh, talbirds or cloaks or whatever they are. Um, the one thing I'm going to be missing as well is the cape but I'm not too worried about that. That's a minor detail I think. Um, and so yeah I think I'm ready to go and I'll just start, I'll start assembling these. I'll show you that in the next clip. All right, so the first thing I need to do is fit uh, fit this front piece onto this terminator body. So for the most part, it seems to fit, except right in here, I have a bit of overlap. So the way that they've they've done this, um, there's a couple extra bits on the body um, that I'm gonna have to carve out at the back just to make sure it all fits together. So I'm just gonna start carving away at that, and then I'll show you what it looks like once it uh, fits nicely. So I'm just trying to fit, figure out which ones of these bodies are going to fit best and then try to match those up and carve them in there. So I'll show you what that looks like once I've hollowed out the backside. Alright, so I have this guy all ready to go. So you can see I've carved out that uh, knee there and uh, I've had to carve out the backside of this a little bit just to make this go together as best I can. So I'm just going to put some glue in here and uh, get this done up. So the thing I was making sure is that these two sides here uh, meshed up as best they could and everything else um, I think will be fine. So get this in there and you can see there's a little bit of a gap still remaining there but I think that'll be covered up by the storm shield arm. I'll put a bit more glue on here sure it's all any the contact points have glue on it and there's my um, my modified torso so I'll, I'll go ahead and put the arms on that and the, the head inside there and uh, this guy will be basically ready 
All right, so now I'm going to get the sergeant on here. So I've carved this one out a little bit and I fit it in there. So this one doesn't fit quite as well, but uh, I think those parts will be hidden. And if not, I can use a little bit of putty in them. So get a bit more glue in there. Good to go. So I'm going to get the rest of the guys done up. Here's the first guy that I finished up all the the rest of the bits on and uh, I think it turned out quite well once he's uh, painted up obviously there's a couple differences um, the uh, the special Deathwing ones have little uh, different vents there the different shaped vents these ones here are square those are more arch shaped um, and obviously there's less details on the legs and torso but uh, very little difference other than that so I'll show you um, the rest of them, the, the assembly is going to be the same. Some of the uh, pegs in the arms I have to clip off, some not. And uh, I'll just finish these guys up and show what the finished product looks like. Alright, here we have our finished uh, Dark Knights, or Black Knights, whatever they're called. <laughs> Forgot already. So um, you'll notice that these shoulder pads are different color. Uh, those are Forge World uh, ones. Uh, in doing this, I probably should have used the... Um, the plastic ones on here, and used my um, used my salt on black reach guys for these ones. Now there's one extra that would have gone on this guy, but uh, the other arms could have been a salt on black reach. So these bodies here are probably even though I like the the idea of having the detail on the command squad, the um, the salt on black reach bodies might have been better off here. Might have made for an easier conversion. Maybe not better models in the end. So um, as you can see, the end result. Uh, some of these talbirds don't fit exactly right, but overall you have a very, uh, very good option rather than spending an extra Canadian seventy dollars or whatever it is in your currency. Um, also of note, the, uh, the the sprue from the old uh, Deathwing company um, has an extra set of legs. So if you're if you're needing that for something, and you have extra Terminator bodies around for some reason, whether it's the super old ones that rotated at the hips um, you can kind of figure out a way to put that on there and uh, get an extra terminator out of the whole set uh, what i'm going to do with my command squad is i'm going to magnetize a couple of the guys arms so my plasma cannon for example will be magnetized and then some of the other options like a thunder hammer i'm only going to paint up one set but uh, that'll give me options for later on so i don't have to paint up more torsos anyways there's my my five guys so i'll show you all them um, Worked out quite nicely with the salt on black reach bodies, and uh, that's my Deathwing squad there. So there's how to convert um, five more guys using cheap alternatives: uh, the assault on black reach, which you can always get on eBay, and uh, there seems to be lots of copies floating around, at least for the near term. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Check out my other stuff. Make sure you subscribe. See you next time.